I'm Marianne Scott, author of Finding Ruby. I wasn't always a writer. My working career, I worked as a purchasing agent and material handler for a manufacturing company making car parts for the big three. It was an exciting way to make a living. I can't say that I did not enjoy it. It seemed that there was always a crisis. There was always a shortage. There was always a quality problem. Throw in some characters, people that I worked with, and I sort of had two classifications. I had my ordinary characters, and I had my very special characters. Put that together with, with the kind of day-to-day -day trials and tribulations you had, and you had some pretty interesting stories. I thought, at first, I would write a memoir, something that I could share about my working life. So I went and did some research. But I soon found out that when you write the truth, that the people, your very special characters, might not see that truth exactly the same way you do. The problem is, you could find yourself in court with a lawsuit. So I put that idea aside. But that, that, that urge to write was always there. And as the, the days and the months went by, I, I decided that I'd have to put my focus elsewhere. And I thought to myself, okay, fine. If it can't be a memoir, then it's going to have to be fiction. So I had to come up with a storyline. And I thought back a little bit about a memory I had. It was a memory about my father. I came home one day and I found him in front of the television set and he was crying and I thought, what's the matter? And I asked him and he turned to me and he said two words. He said, it's over. And I realized what he was watching. It was the day the Berlin Wall came down. Now I knew my father was in the war. He never spoke of it very much. I knew he hated communists, and he made no apologies about that. But seeing how emotional he was, I realized that the Cold War is a lesson you don't soon forget. That memory stuck with me for a very long time. And as I thought about it and did some research on the Cold War, I thought about how it would affect you if you didn't know anything about your parents' background. What if they had some experience in the war that they didn't want anyone to know about? I went on to think a little further. What if those people, those parents, those individuals were spies? And what did they do when the Cold War ended? Did they go on and have normal lives? Did they go on to have families? Did they tell their families about what they did in the war? It, it, it marinated for a while, and then I thought, I can make a story out of this. And that's how Finding Ruby was born.